This is Rattling Bones. Never forget. Once you get MLG, Cod of Duty gets too easy. You know, I'm the fucking MLG champion. They gave me a bloody trophy for it. I am a proud member of FaZe Clan, rupturing Xbox Live accounts since 69 BC. Alright, I'll cut the shit. Cod of Duty was far, far too easy for my hardcore expertise, so I downloaded a definitely not sketchy looking Nintendo cartridge. The most hardcore console ever. It contained Super Smash Bros. 7. An intense game only for the most MLG of gamers. Okay. The game was shit. Looks like I was too good for any game. Right, guys? I thought of what to do. I photosynthesized my knowledge. I googled what photosynthesize meant. I decided to watch Spongebob. All Disney channels were filled with prepubic teens with mystical powers or something, so I couldn't. Looks like it's time for my super trustworthy cheap, not sketchy Amazon seller. To my intense surprise, it was a steal for 745 payments of $89.99,000. It came instantly at my door from a satanic demon. I passed it off as a real life glitch and carried on. I shoved it in my Windows pre-Vista laptop and rolled the clip. It started off completely normal, only the pirate at the start had a red vignette glowing around him with spoofy text flying about with Doritos bags blazing around the screen. Intense lens flares were stunning my eyes while he was chanting how it rattles his bones and to never forget that, I passed it off as a glitch and moved on. It started up with spooky, scary skeletons. They sent shivers down my spine. They rattled my bones. Holy shit. I didn't forget that it rattled the pirate's bones. That's when I fucking realized. I was the pirate. I grew a mustache. I grew an eye patch. My hair turned ginger. I caused a supernova. I was stuck inside a picture frame. I am now writing this from my wooden prison. I now ask you one thing. To never forget.